Hello everybody and welcome back to another r slash farming simulator video. I know we didn't do one of these last week and um, because of that I was going to do top of the month but there was actually quite a lot of overlap with top of the month so we're doing top of the week so we kind of missed a week but this week's still pretty good so yeah we missed last week but so yeah anyway if you guys saw the video that went up yesterday it was the finale of day trips Monticello uh, it was pretty fun and I got myself a uh, a shirt for it, as you can see, it is the, I think the Declaration of Independence. I think it's, I think it's actually the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, it's the Declaration of Independence uh, on a shirt. And um, down here is uh, John Hancock. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but it says John Hancock. It's pretty cool. I, I'm glad I, I got it. And I also got the little fan that you saw. I'm going to go grab that. It's over, over there. Let me go grab that real quick. Little fan. Get ready for some wind noise. Actually, if I, if I did it here, it wouldn't make any wind noise. If I do it here, though, it's going to make wind noise. There you go. Wind noise. Actually, I don't know. This might go, this head, These headphones might be pretty good for wind noise because it's fuzzy. Anyway, I don't know. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. If you get hot and sweaty while recording, I can go ahead and do this. <laughs> Except it makes a lot of wind noise. So probably only good during time lapses. But anyway, I got that. And the shirt. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with some posts here. And let's get started with, man, it sure is bouncy in here. <laughs> bouncy, 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 bouncy. Just bouncing all around. And then on the outside, it's not as bouncy. It doesn't look as bouncy. It doesn't look like anything. And then on the inside, it's just like boing, 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 boing. <clears throat> wow. That's crazy. Yeah, on the outside, it doesn't look like it's that crazy. <laughs> ah, funny. Next one. Running the grain cart on an 8,500 acre farm and I can't I'm gonna pronounce that. I thought you guys might be might enjoy. Quad track and car I'm going to run from December to end of October. Very cool. Can you see the full image? Okay, there we go. There's the full image. Very cool. There's like Welker Farms. Welker Farms is running a quad track right now um, for their grain. Uh, looks like they're, they're, they're grain bagging, too. There's a grain bag. Yeah, I know all that's from Welker Farms. They're doing a very similar setup. They're grain bagging, and they're also, um, carting, and they also got two very big, very nice, fancy grain bins. Yeah, there's a grain bag. Grain bagger. Interesting. That's very similar to what... Bagging canola if the super bees aren't back yet to haul it to the elevator. Okay. Cool, so you're doing canola while Walker Farms is doing wheat. So yeah, not exactly the same, but yeah, very similar setup with the the grain bagger and the the auger wagon on the quad track. Very similar to what they're doing at Walker Farms, which, uh, yeah, it's interesting. But yeah, cool, I would love to do something like that. Okay, next one. Converted a new low loader to my farm. Love it so far, although I never used it in FS17. Converted a new loader to my farm. Cool, okay, so it's a class, class loader. I converted a new loader to my farm. I love it, although I never used it in 17. Oh, do you make this mod? Oh, you converted it from 17. Okay. And you made... Wow. I wish I knew how to mod. That's kind of cool how you're able to make a mod. Uh, well, I guess it was already modeled in 17, and you just kind of changed the scripts over to 19, which I bet it's kind of easy. But still, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to know how to do that. I tried 3D modeling, and, well, you guys can check out my my playlist right here. I think it's probably down here somewhere. Uh, actually, probably a little bit higher. Right here, 3D models, and you can see how that goes. Not really, I mean, it's, I, I, I think it's pretty good, but obviously not as skilled as modeling a telehandler. Feed the pigs quickly, and then it's closing time. What are you driving? I'm interested in what that is. What? I can't tell. It's so low res. Is that a tractor with a trailer on the front? That's interesting. It's a tractor with a tipper on the front. That's in I've never seen anything like that before. It's a tipper tractor. Huh. Does that exist? Or is that just a mod made for fun? No, I can't seem to find any images, so if you guys can let me know if this is a real thing or not, I don't know, but yeah, I don't see any images of a tractor with a tipper in the front. 
some stuff with it in the back, like this thing. This thing has it, it looks like it has behind you. But nothing where it is like where the engine would be. And yeah, I don't think that is real because where, where would the engine go? There's no spot for the engine. So that is an interesting piece of equipment right there, anyway. Wow, a lot of low res stuff. <laughs> Console helper and new field creation. Oh gosh, never let a helper do a field. Never let a helper do it. I always, I always do f create fields myself. Never let him do the field. Yeah, he's gonna start right there. Uh. I mean, what did you expect was gonna happen? He's gonna cultivate and then he's gonna plow. I understand, but I mean, he seems to be doing. But yeah, I, th I thought he was gonna like make the field super bad and all oh, ra 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 raggedy. I always plow fields myself. Um, but maybe it's just that he's cultivating and then he's plowing it. But I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? You should have put the plow in the front and the cultivator in the back. That's that's your problem, not his. Hey, look, it's Sandy Bay. Makeshift go wheel LT master. <laughs> So if you guys don't know what the Go Wheel LT Master is, it's uh, I think it's a, uh, it's like a machine. That's also a baler. So you put mach stuff in. I think you put whatever you want in it, and it makes a bale, which is uh, yeah, kind of cool that it does that. And this is what we're doing. We're putting chaff, looks like maybe chaff or grass into a baler, and you're making some silage bales out the back, which is yeah, that's how you that, that's how it would work. But yeah, you're it's makeshift. So, um, yeah. Okie dokie, next one. I found my helper doing this. Oh, just casually riding on the fence. <laughs> it looks like they completed their tasks, too. Very good. Yeah, they, they, they're done. Yeah, they completed their tasks. They're probably, I'm guessing they were working this field. Not necessarily this field. Yeah, probably were, probably were cultivating this field. Even though I don't see a cultivator, I see something on the back. Something definitely really small um, for that tractor, but anyway, they're probably all working this field and not necessarily working this field. <sighs> yeah, they're probably working because I don't know how they from this field get over the fence and onto this. They're probably doing this one, but yeah, unfortunate. Hey, at least it's not off the side of a cliff like I had one time. Oh my gosh, when there's a great demand for gravel. <laughs> Yeah, this is on the mining construction economy map. I've heard about it. I might, I, I, I kind of want to do it one day. It's kind of cool with a global company uh, being in this game. Because, yeah, global company wasn't a thing in uh, 17. Uh, at least, I don't know. Because I, I, I never played 17 modded. So I wouldn't know if global company was a thing. But I think global company is pretty new. I think it's probably, I think it's new for this game. And it's a, it's a great script mod. And a, and a lot of mobs can go off of it, which is great. But yeah, it's basically just the generic scripting for having stuff happen and the new mining construction and economy kind of just use of that. We're basically a mining construction and economy. Uh, instead of just farming, you're also, there's also gold mining where you can get dirt and water and kind of go seizing for gold. There's gravel mining and making asphalt to build roads. There's a lot of extra stuff, which is really cool. So, I kind of think of it as a combination of SnowRunner and Farming Simulator to be honest, because we know in SnowRunner, we're, you know, we're transporting the materials to build the bridge, or transporting the materials to clear the rock slide. Kind of like that. Except in Farming Simulator, and obviously, there's a great demand for gravel. At least, I think that's what this is, mining construction and economy. I could be very wrong, but that's what, that's what I, at least I think, with the gravel and stuff. Anyway. With there being trailers of gravel. There's also gravel on the ground. Um, it's an international affair. <laughs> uh, good joke. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of international. International trucks. I didn't know case made trucks, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, tractors and combines. And looks like, is, that, is, that tra is this trailer part of it? I don't know if this trailer is part of it. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. Lots of red. I, I love. I love my. I love me some red tractors. Anyway, next one. This man has some amazing joints. Oh my gosh. Could I do that? I could do that. 
don't know if you guys can see that. I can do that. I don't know if I would play like that, but... Our hands are like this. He's like this. Eh. I don't know. That would hurt. <laughs> I couldn't do that all day, but that hurts. He's not even touching the steering wheel. Also, I'm pretty sure that's broken right there. I'm pretty sure if... Yeah, I don't think you can go... Yeah, you can, you can go that far back. It looks broken, though. He's just like, eh. And then, eh. I got amazing joints, I guess. Third cut is really thin. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's, okay, that's the video. Okay, third cut. So third cut, yeah, that makes sense because it's almost the end of the end of the year. Um, and that's a cool mower. I've never seen that mower before. It looks like you run a more vintage setup, more vintage tractor. That's kind of cool. Yeah, interesting. It's like a combine cutter header. Very cool. Very interesting. Yeah, I would love to do a series of just old vintage tractors, but it would have to be on a map with very small fields. I wouldn't want to do it on like Welker Farms. That would take forever. Love this. Smiling chef at it again. Spin on up the wheels. Oh, we're taking the wheels off, putting a thing on there. Okay. You know the tractor's got a PTO. Fire. Oh, it's a chef. Okay. They're cooking something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tractors have got they got PTOs. But then eh, I guess maybe you sometimes need the wheel. Maybe the wheel spins faster. Though then again. Maybe the PTO wouldn't be that I don't know. Tractors got PTOs. That's all I'm gonna say. There's you know, you you could use the PTO. But yeah. Cooking a got a some kind of big bird. Wow. Making sandwiches. Cool. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but some kind of big turkey or chicken and just cooking it with the rear axle of a tractor. But then again, you have PTOs. Um, my Indiana farm set up. Recently found this game and it's going to be so happy reliving my childhood. I modeled this close to farm on which I grew up, Xbox. Oh, you see, you're a farmer in real life. Or used to be. Cool. That's neat. That is really neat. But yeah, cool. That looks like a really fun... That looks like a really good yard setup. Yeah, it looks like a like a, like a setup you'd have on a real farm, which obviously this is based off a real farm. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. A lot of storage. You got quite a bit of grain storage with those grain bins. And a very nice, very nice view of that river. That river going next with the train tracks. Very cool. Very cool farm setup thing. About to drop the hardest new record in Farmville. <laughs> That's funny. You're just standing on the roof of the combine like, yo, check me out. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Yep, I don't know. Is that is this? It is the the pose, the the combine. It looks like Ravenport. It, it's it's just it's just perfect. This is a perfect photo. Oh, so great. Real world logging. Profess a processor to strip and cut trees with ease. Okay, we've seen Ponzi scorpions, but here here's one working in real life. It's kind of cool to see it working in real life. But yeah, there you go. There's there's your Ponzi scorpion. Just cutting away. It may not be. I think it probably is a scorpion. Yeah, it is a Ponzi scorpion. Um, it just look at it cut the trees up. Yeah, very satisfying to watch that. I could watch that all day. F Farming simulator is new Euro truck simulator. <laughs> I guess so. Wow, look at that. Transporting just some trailers. That seems to be the same trailer we saw earlier, actually. If we scroll down, is it the same trailer? Oh, let me go back down, all the way down, all the way down. Yeah, for the first one we saw. The se second one. A couple ones we saw. I converted, yeah, this this trailer. So it seems pretty popular, that, that, that trailer. Hmm. 
It's the first time we've seen the same kind of mod used twice. So it's the same black and stuff. Silver. It's got wheels, because trailers have wheels, but yeah. Yeah, you can't do, like, Euro Truck Simulator stuff in Farming Simulator. Obviously, in Euro Truck Simulator, it's a lot cooler, because you have, like, I think you have, like, the whole kind of world modeled, kind of like in, almost like Microsoft Flight Simulator, where the whole world is, like, modeled out. But in Euro Truck, it's actually... Well, in Euro Truck, it's actually only Europe, so... Not the whole world, but yeah, you can still, like, drive from, like, the UK to, you know, through the tunnel into your into France, you know, you can do all that cool stuff um, in Euro Truck Simulator. Where on Farming Simulator, unless you have, like, a really big four times map, you really aren't going to go on many big journeys uh, in a in a semi-truck. But I guess maybe on Durango, you could travel from the beach to the top of the map, and that could be a kind of a cool journey. So, yeah. You, you could do, you could, but yeah, I mean, like, specialized game for specialized topic, game where you can do other game, yeah, you, you, you know, but yeah, you can do ETS stuff in Farming Simulator, and maybe I might do some, uh, uh, Truck Simulator, I think I have a game called American Truck Simulator, um, or ATS, just, I had a, I got a simulator package for Christmas, and I've never touched it. Because uh, I've just been playing Farming Simulator. But if you guys want to see that from, from something from that simulator package, I might post that, like, maybe, uh, uh, not next, not this Sunday, or not Saturday, but maybe the next Saturday after that. Because uh, that's really the only day of the week where I actually have an open schedule and can do whatever I want. But next Saturday, I do have plans. You guys can stay tuned for that. Something special coming. Anyway, Bandicam just shut off. I heard a little ding. So anyway, let's get started with Brand New. Posted by you slash Lucas Duh. Brand new, brand new sprayer. Very cool. Very fancy and very cool. Okay. The boys are logging. We got some yarders. That's cool. Now, I guess that's good if you don't have to follow me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, if you don't have to follow me. Because uh, I'm like, just have this one follow this one. Because it's not like you're going any faster. It's not like this is like a truck pull in this. Uh, but yeah, follow me. Not everybody has it. But yeah, follow me would be, you wouldn't have to pay for all this. Uh, just to transport them both at the same time. You could just have one follow the other. And that would be convenient. Because the reason you would do this is because maybe the truck is faster than this. And then the truck can go, like, 50 miles per hour. Well, this can only go 14. And that way you get there faster. Whereas now, you're stuck to 14 because you have the thing pulling the thing. But if you don't have follow me, that makes sense. Anyway. She may be the oldest and smallest tractor on the farm. But there is always something. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, Makes sense, yeah. Oldest tractor and small, but it's useful because, you know, the combine needed fuel and you brought the fuel to the combine. Very nice. But yeah, wow, definitely a big farm, but yeah, it's good to have the small little tractors, I guess. Definitely good to have those just in case you get in a sticky situation like the one you got in right here. Anyway, next one. We have helping a friend out and you're just... You're just using your tractor to put a tire on that tractor. That's that's nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. So yeah, you front loader. <laughs> Couldn't lift that tire by hand, probably. I mean, probably could, but it would probably be really hard. Uh, probably not. I, I don't know. There's probably somebody who can lift the tractor tire. But I did probably definitely couldn't. I couldn't lift the tractor tire. So yeah, good to have the front loader to help there. Anyway, sorry if I'm going fast. It's just that I feel like this video is getting a little long. But, I guess since you guys didn't get an r slash farming simulator last week, we can do a 30 minute one for this week, that's fine. Um, 7 million sunflowers planted over 30 acres for charity, with some tractors and combine for the kids to see raised over $34,000 for kidney cancer. That's, 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 that's good. That's good. Money raised for a good cause. Planted over 30 acres for charity with some tractors and combine for the kids to see. 
So, okay, so the kids watch the sunflowers be planted, I guess. Com uh, combines out in the open. Tractors out in the open. That's cool. That's cool. And that's a lot of sunflowers. Very cool. Yeah, some sunflowers are probably one of the most pretty crops when they're in this phase. And then when they get ready to harvest, they just look pitiful. But they're probably one of the most pretty when they're just about ready to harvest. Which, I don't know if these ones are going to be harvested. I mean... It, the Planted over 30 acres for charity... I mean, otherwise, I, I get, they're probably going to be harvested. What am I saying? Otherwise, they'll just die. So, of course, they're going to be harvested. But yeah, it's cool to raise the money. Probably the money harvested from them, too, gives donated. I hope the money from the sunflower seeds that these sunflowers produce is also donat donated to the same charity. That would be uh, really, really awesome. The view from my back door. <laughs> combine. Just harvesting away. I wish I could have a view of a combine harvesting. I look out my window and all I see is some other dude's house. I want to see a combine. Why can't the house be a combine? <laughs> Why can't I live in the country? Maybe, maybe it's better. Maybe if I live in the country, all these videos, all you would hear is just beep, beep from some tractor. Though, I mean... That would be kind of cool, though. I think it would be cool. I, I pr probably, pr probably, I would move to the country. Maybe. I would like to see stuff like this. Anyway, I'm, we're almost at the top here. Three more to go. Guys, I think it's time to have a cleanup of my mods. Too many. I don't use at all. Hoping to go down to 1,500. In my mod hoarder. FS19 mods. 70 gigs. Wow. At least it's on your hard drive. Someone might have been the, might have made the mistake of putting it on their uh their solid state, but you put it on your hard drive. That that was smart. That's smart. Or at least I th I think that's your hard drive. For me, D stands for hard drive, and I think for most people D stands for hard drive. Yeah. Cool. Wow, 2,190. That's a lot of mods. Uh, how many do I have? I'm actually curious now. Let's see, how many mods do I have? Not as much. 116 files to a total of 3.54 gigs. So, yeah, that's definitely a lot more. <laughs> that's definitely a lot more. Anyway, let's go to the next one. I went through Mob Mod Hub's 127 maps and did my best to sort them by country. Here are the results, more information in the comments. So the majority is England, USA, Germany, Poland. I've played an English map, uh, Sandy Bay, we're playing on one. All my other maps have been US. I haven't played on a Germany map or a Poland map or any of these other ones. We have France, Spain, event maps, which I guess are just anywhere. Sweden, Italy, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Netherlands, Hungary, Australia. Oh, these are just all two. 23, 23, 19, 18. That just, yeah, okay. Two, two. Yeah, wow. And then one Fiat map. <laughs> Canada. Very, inter very interesting graphic right there. But yeah, there's definitely a clear bias to the English and USA, but maybe more Germany and Poland maps. There's definitely a bias for European maps, let me just say. There's not really too many things for the USA. Out of all the stuff in Europe, Europe like, because England's in Europe, Germany and France is all in Europe. Well, as in the Americas, we have US and Canada. Uh, and maybe there's some, probably somewhere in here, like Brazil or something, but... Mexico. There's one Mexico. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, I, I almost missed this one. This is our top, but I almost missed this one. Let's not miss this one. The only traffic jam I'm okay with. <laughs> Tractor. Yeah, I was stuck behind a... I was riding in a car and got stuck behind a tractor. And I was okay with it as well. I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. The person driving the car wasn't, though. They were like, come on. But I'm like, no, it's, it's fine. I like this. <laughs> but the person driving was like, no, please, no. Anyway. A car rental agency in 
not even going to pronounce it, has noticed that for over a week, the GPS of one of their cars indi- indicated intense zigzag movement from one location. They went to check it out. They found this. <laughs> I guess if you don't have a tractor, I guess that's what you got to do. You got to cultivate. Cultivating with your car. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know, you can leave a like. It's right below the video. There's a little thumbs up. You can go ahead and tap that. You can also subscribe. It's right next to that as well. Um, but yeah, have a great day, get rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time where we, um, you know, uh, do this week again. But it'll be next week. So it'll be different pictures and text and memes and stuff like that. Okay. Bye.